Victory against the autism demons. That's already the the title itself's already wild. Now, listen, just 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 expose what's just just experience this video, okay? Just completely just experience it, okay? Watching it live, straight up. It had a demon that was causing him to have autism. Watch this. I break every generational curse in Jesus' name off of you, off of your family, off of him now. And I de detach him from autism and every diagnosis put upon him. And I declare on three, every spirit attached to which she renounced, every spirit of autism and mental sickness must leave in Jesus' name. One, two, three. So, you know what's funny about that? Not much. No, but the you funny know... The part is, you, no, is no, that no. that poor child thinks he doesn't have autism anymore. No, you, you know what's... So, uh, what's crazy about that, right? This fucking kid is, is fucking autistic, and he is the most intelligent... Person there. And most in touch with the reality person that's in that fucking... He in straight that up asked him, "What the fuck just happened?" <laughs> He's like, "What just happened?" He was, He's you like, know, what's what crazy is he had guys? the he has the he had the presence of mind enough to be like, "Oh fuck, they're not gonna let this go." Ugh. Oh, I'm okay. You know, it's like like Jesus set you free, and he's so clearly, so clearly, nothing changed. Yeah, n absolutely nothing. No offense to the changed. child, not a single thing about him changed. He didn't just morph into a Isn't fucking... Isn't that funny that people people really believe, though, that... That that worked? Like, what kind you of know, person do you have to be? A religious person. And that's, like, the... That's the crazy part where religion comes in. It's, like, some people are so blinded by their religion and their faith that they think something like that works. Where something... It's not like it's a common cold... It's not like he's like fucking, you know, he's literally autistic. And they go, it's just a demon, son. We shall banish him from your body. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. And now, he's, and now he's cured, apparently. It makes zero sense medically, scientifically. But to these fucking insanos, that's like the best treatment you can get. The yeah, and you know God. what's crazy is like, I wonder what kind of person I'd have to be to, you know, to think that Jesus would really cure this kid's autism. I think that I think it's almost sad in a way because you'd have to be so beat up by life to even think that that's even a possibility. You he, know? She was like, "Jesus set you free." He was like, Ugh, "What just happened?" What and then the mean? mom falls to the floor like, oh god. Do you, do you believe? Do you believe that? Like she clearly had. He goes, mom, what the fuck are you on the ground for? What like, do you call? What do you call a coffee with a uh, with some alcohol in it in the morning? Uh, Irish, Irish, Irish coffee. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. So she clearly had a little throw bit a little too bit much fucking in that bad boy off in her fucking coffee. Mm. But on to the next clip, nonetheless. This one's just fucking badass, and I wanted to show it to you. Oh, you know, I saw this, and I didn't finish watching the video. I just saw him do that, and then for some reason. You see it? I don't know why, but it looks kind of badass. Oh, you wipe your hands when you shoot something like this. That's not a pistol. That's a fucking... I think we can both agree that... That's a fucking sniper without the scope. I need another shot. That was nothing. I need another shot. You don't do that if you're loading a pistol. You don't. Look at that shit. One more time. I got one right here. That's mine. Give him one more. Give me one more. That's it. Okay. Oh, oh, I like that this, would be lots of I fun. Like this, I Shooting like guns this. already. Bam! Shooting yeah, hello, guns is already fun as shit. Shooting a fifty cal oh, pistol. Oh, hell, I like this gun. I like this one, dog. That's a small rifle. That's a looks like a 
fucking <laughs> rocket launcher. Oh man, have you shot? <laughs> have you shot a gun before? Story time. Story time. You want to know something so fucking funny? The first time I shot a gun, I was in West Virginia with my grandpa. Nice. And his name is Lane. How old were you? I was fucking nine. That's about the same age I was. So so. I was nine years old. And anybody who doesn't know anything about West Virginia, it's funny, right? Because I I have a, um, a mom who's Caucasian. She, or whatever you want to call it, she's white, and um, my dad is Puerto Rican, so this is my, this is, I was with my mom's side of the family, in West Virginia, there's pretty much- The white side. Yeah. In layman's terms, the white side of the family. The white side, and in West Virginia, there's pretty much nothing but trees, alcohol, and inbreds. Oh, it's a nice diverse population. Yeah. So essentially what this was, I was with my grandpa Lane and my uncle Dale. So are either of them already are either of them inbreds, if you don't mind me asking? If it's not No, they're not, but I wouldn't be surprised if some of those some but of those you know they're, cousins that I you have know they exist down there. there. Oh dude. They're they're out and about. Fucking up yeah. in the W V. Up in the W V. So essentially, um, we go up this dirt road of a hill to my uncle Dale and my aunt Dreama's house. I'm with my grandpa. Aunt Dreama, I remember. And they're like, "All right, you know, um, got nothing better to do." Uh, Alex, you want to shoot your first gun? I was like nine years old. I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I, wanna... I didn't say "fuck yeah," but I was like, he- "Heck yeah!" I want to shoot my first gun. And they were like, "All right then." So they give me t- a twenty. Uh, revolver. I'm pretty sure it was like a 22 caliber revolver, so it didn't have any kick to it. Yeah. Um, Normal 22. I got you. And they give it to me, and I was like, "All right then." I fucking grab it, and I'm aiming like this, um, right down the middle. And my uncle, t- <laughs> my uh, grandpa Lane's here. My uncle Dale's right here, and I take a step back. Oh my god! And I <laughs> aim it, and both of them just kind of like are like standing there with their hands crossed, like looking in the distance, waiting for me to shoot it. And they look back, and my little ass is like three feet behind them. They're like, "Oh shit!" And then they like <laughs> both like disperse. And I was like, "Oh fuck! What was I supposed to? Was I supposed to shoot one of them?" <laughs> but I, it was so funny because I took a step back, and I was kind of like aiming in between them and they were afraid I was gonna fucking shoot them obviously so they fucking oh, really they ran <laughs> no shit but yeah I just literally I'm pretty sure this almost is com- shot your uncle and grandpa yeah but also I feel like that's totally illegal you're not supposed to just shoot guns in the air I don't think that's wait you guys weren't out of range or like even like <laughs> oh no, this was just in his front yard Okay, but what kind of house does he? Is he just like in a neighborhood? No, he, so he, he's got his own isolated house. So it's, it's yeah. So you go up a dirt road, a winding dirt road, and then his house is just on a hill alone. It's much more legal that way. But I feel like it's still pretty illegal. Still, probably you're not supposed to do it. <laughs> just I just started but if letting just, around. I mean, off. It could, but if you went out front, if you went out in front of your house right now and just started letting off some rounds, that'd be bad. <laughs> That's definitely not legal. That's definitely not legal. But he was okay. So he had some acres or whatever to work with. Yeah. So he had and some. And that's usually a night like shooting it into like a big open field's usually pretty nice. You know, I the only time. Well, I've only ever been one the one time, and I was like nine as well, maybe eight. And we went to the uh, shooting range. There's a shooting range. I think it's. I'm not 100 percent sure, but it's all the way down to Cater, I think maybe. But there's a shooting range. Well, go ahead. Yeah. Pretty m- probably the one you're thinking of is yeah. the one that I went to, but uh, I went there when I was like eight, nine, and I'm there with like my dad, my grandpa, and like the rest of my brothers, right? My three older brothers. We're all there, and we're kind of just you know having a blast shooting mm-hmm. guns, right? Mm-hmm. As you do. And they give me the first gun that I get to shoot, and it was a pistol, and I was like nine, dude, and they handed me a forty-five. 45 like a, a 45 caliber caliber pistol right wow yeah which has some recoil on it it had huh? some recoil and they told me 
keep your fucking wrists, you know, steady or whatever, it's going to fucking snap back on you. So so be prepared. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I basically did it. I did it good. I didn't fucking lose the pistol. I didn't kick back and hit me in the face or anything. Right. Although it would have made for a much better story. If it, but, if it um, broke your nose. I will say, for some odd reason, something that I thought was fun to do that day was catching the casings as they came out of the gun. Yeah, they were burning hot. Yeah, you try to catch them? Yeah, before they hit the ground. Because I thought I was like, oh. <laughs> I thought I was cool doing it. You're like, oh. Oh! <laughs> <Yep. laughs> it burned my hand every time. It was me me and Crit, and then we would just like pick up, like if there was like a super big casing, we would pick that one up off the ground. And they were usually all still pretty warm. Right? Yeah. They're usually freshly shot. So, yeah, we basically were just, like, collecting shell casings the whole day. And I only really shot, and then I did shoot um, a twenty two rifle, okay. right? And that was fine. Not really much kick on it. And I don't think I hit any targets, honestly. Yeah, yeah. But I was, like, nine, dude, you know? Yeah, I mean. I'm not going to be no fucking John Wick first time picking up a gun. Literally, right? Like, that's just not, this is not how it works. It's not possible. Do you have do you have guns now? Do you own any guns? I don't, but the world the world's a crazy place. I I really do need to. Uh, you might get one soon. I need to, you know on the topic of guns, <laughs> civil rights. This is my favorite fucking clip I'm about to show you. Oh, okay. I, it might be my favorite clip of all time. I'm really, and this is no all exaggeration. Right, this is exciting You've now. Probably seen this. All right, that's fair. Have you seen this? Uh, I don't believe so. Are you ready? Still, any attempt to restrict drinking and driving here is viewed by some as downright undemocratic. It's kind of getting common this when a fella can't put in a hard day's work, put in 11, 12 hours a day, and then get in your truck and at least run one or two beers. They're making at least. laws where you can't drink when you want to. You, can't, you have to wear a seat belt when you're driving. Good this lady literally has a small child in the front seat country. as well when she's talking like this. She, she has hear? a small she was child. Like, she was like, <laughs> communist she country. Goes, communist country because they said, and I quote, they got to, they tell us when do we use our seatbelts. You have to wear a seatbelt when you're driving. got to wear a seatbelt when you're driving. Can't drink a couple I bears. Mean, I'll tell you what. We're it, coming, to, we're becoming a communist country. You, did you just tell me to buckle up for my safety? I think no, not, not, you communist. You just told me I can't, you know, <laughs> the first guy fucking just cracks me up because he's just like. I'm working 11, 12 hours a day. I at least get to get in my car and drink one or two beers before I head home. You know what's crazy, though, is before the, whenever that was the 80s, they could drink and drive. There was no. It wasn't illegal. There was no no limit either. Like no. They just would do it. Yeah. But they're like, it's it's so funny because it's like, yeah, like, you should wear your seatbelt and not drink and drive. <laughs> But they're like, well, if you tell me that you're a communist, if you tell me that you're a communist, I can't, you know, get off 12 hours a hard working day and get a couple bears in me. And you just now they're just telling me I got to wear my seatbelt. You're mm. telling me I got to wear my seatbelt and I can't sm- smoke meth in my car. You're telling me I can't get a good crack rock in my nose and. And uh, drive without my seatbelt and, and throw back a bear after a hard 12 days of work. I'm telling you what, this country's going to shit. Next thing you're going to tell me that I can't go home and fuck my sheep. N- and that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, geez, you're going to get on me about every little thing. Every little thing going on around here. What I do with my sheep is my business and mine only. <laughs> God damn it. You communist. Can't can't get off work. Shoot my pistol in the air when I'm going fifty down a twenty five. And I li- all I was doing was shooting the signs on the way home. I don't understand. That's what all the problem I was is. doing. Yeah. So With it was a different time. Billy. It was a different time. It was time a different time, dude. That's um. Uh, it was a time when my dad was growing up. Yeah, the eighties. He was about. Yeah, he he the he was born in sixty five. So very like literally that late seventies to early eighties period was like his heyday of like sixteen to like twenty. Yep. He came out to Vegas at about it was I think it was I think he was eighteen or nineteen. But okay. when he was still in town, like one of the last straws 
that made his parents like kick him out to go to Vegas. Uh-huh. He got in trouble. He he um he was driving home. Okay, drunk, and he crashed the car. Uh huh. The family car. Yeah. Oh shit. It was a family car. I think it was a truck. I don't think it was like total totaled, but like it was like stuck in a ditch kind of, so it had to get like towed out or whatever. Where did he live? Richmond, Indiana. Really? Yeah. Richmond, Indiana. Richmond, Indiana. Right next to, right down the street from French Lick. French Lick. I tell where Larry you. Larry Bird was born. Fran- <laughs> That's fucking why. This motherfucker, man. Come on, dude. My dad was from Indiana. I gotta love Larry Bird. Well, that was just like a thing. I was born in Cleveland. So you love big black cock. <laughs> no, LeBron. LeBron. LeBron was born, oh, was you love there. LeBron. Well, I technically <laughs> wasn't wrong. Technically, I technically was not wrong. But um, he he got in trouble because he crashed and he had to spend the night and uh. In his town, they called it the drunk tank. If you got in trouble drinking and driving, or if you were just too hammered or whatever driving home, they could they could tell, and they wouldn't like get mad at you. He said, "Really? They would just be like, oh, Dave, drinking Dave, again? Come on, man, you what? get because his dad, dad won too many bears, his, huh? His, his, his going on in a drunk tank. His father's name was Lonnie, right? Uh huh. So he goes, yeah, I'm gonna have to tell Lonnie about this one. I'm My, gonna okay, have to, so I'm gonna have to let him know. Let's play this out. So you're your dad." And I'm the sheriff. Okay. So go ahead. You're driving down, driving down the freeway. You get in a ditch. Fucking terrible accident. Oh terrible my accident. God. I, I hop out of the car. I'm like, oh my god, my hey. Shit. What was D- your dad's name? Dave. Dave. Oh my D- god, my yeah. Deputy, right? Deputy Dan. You it's gotta me. Slow your words. Oh, it's right. <laughs> you just fucking drunk. deputy. Deputy Dan. It's me, Dave. Oh my god, hey. Dave. What's going on? I, t- I was a f- I was a fucking. There was a unicorn. In the road, man. There was a unicorn and the- well, some sort of creature in the road. And what I'd, kind of? I, 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 I swerved out to the side and I, I almost hit him. Oh I was, my god! I, I is almost he, killed is the it son all right? Bitch. Well, I'm not. That I, yeah, I missed him. Well, is it okay? Well, so so the animal's okay then. The unicorn, yeah. The unicorn's all right then. All right. Wait a minute. Hmm. It's Unicorns only, only live in Nebraska. Everyone oh, knows shit. that. Everyone, oh, you're no, a you drunk, ain't you? You got me. Yeah, one you got too me many bears on you. Oh shit! Are right, you gonna have to come with me? You're gonna have to get spend a night in a drunk tank. No, not the drunk tank. You're gonna have to spend a night. I, I don't, don't make tell, the rules. Just don't tell my daddy. Don't tell Lonnie. I'm home. gonna have to tell Lonnie about this, man. Oh my God, please, man. He's gonna kill me. It's a family I truck. I know, I know. But listen, someone's gonna have to pick you up from the drunk tank, and I ain't taking you home. I got, oh I got a wife and kids, and I got some beer to drink after work. Get you home. Just let me go. You can't just let me go. What are you gonna just do? One Fucking, time? you know, run home. Twenty-five miles out. I guess you're right. I don't know how the fuck you got there. Unicorns. Unicorns, man. I'm Fucking God you. damn it. I swear they only live in Nebraska. Oh, 